God still does wonders. I don't know how God did it, but He came through for me. God did it, and I'm so grateful. Hello and a very warm welcome you're on to Heritage News and this is God Did It. It's great to be with you on this edition. Thanks for joining me. Now uh, today happens to be the very last Sunday in the month of August 2022 and I would like to take this moment to appreciate everyone who in the last eight months have shared your God Did It stories with us. You never really can tell just how far your testimonies have gone and blessing someone. And as we go into the end months, we encourage you to keep sending your testimonies as you receive them. God did it at asiantrpodhacker.com remains the email portal. Now, starting off today, we have this very sharing testimony from our sister, Mrs. Bello. She's grateful to God for sparing the life of her husband. He was involved in an accident on his way to Lagos a few weeks ago. The driver of the cargo bus he was in slept off on wheels and unfortunately ran into a moving trailer. This was about 1 a.m. and our sister, Mrs. Bello, says her husband sustained an injury but is very much alive and doing well today. I can just imagine the extent of gratitude in the heart of our sister, Mrs. Bello. We indeed join you in thanking God for preserving the life of your husband. Now, if you're probably looking at relocating with your family to a destination of choice, then this next testimony should interest you. It is from our brother Mike. He says, I want to say a very big thank you to God Almighty for his protection, grace, and mercy over my family and I. What God cannot do does not exist. It looked like it was going to take forever, but God did it. My family and I finally immigrated to Canada. The process which started about four years ago has finally come to pass. We are now Canadian residents. I know what God has started in our lives, no one can stop. I believe and know God has already answered all our other prayer requests. Something I've learned over these past years is that while I am waiting, I will be praising God. While I am waiting, I will be worshiping God. While I am waiting, I will be praying to God because He is the only one we have. A very big congratulations to our dear brother and here is wishing you and your family all the best right there in Canada. And now lastly today, I'm sure you've heard it been said many times that the God we serve is a merciful God. True as this is sometimes, it may take a personal experience to fully grasp the extent of his mercy. Now, the 29th of July, 2022, will remain a day to remember for our sister, Olua Damilola Sofisi. What exactly happened on that day, you may ask? Take a look at this video. This is now the remains of her sister's shop. Early that fateful morning, Damilola says she needed to be in her shop to finish some job she had, but was somewhat unsettled in her spirit and so kept dragging her feet and delaying for no reason. This went on for a little while. Still trying to decide if to leave the house or not, she heard a knock on her door and what she heard was indeed shocking. A water tank fell on her shop and destroyed the entire building. Surprisingly, the water tank fell on her seat exactly where she would have been sitting had she been there. What's more, her sister says, when she arrived at the scene, she was told the incident occurred 30 minutes before her arrival, just about the same time she was indecisive about leaving for her shop. Olua Damilola is extremely grateful to God and thanks him for not only miraculously preserving her life, but also ensuring there were no human casualties from the incident. <laughs> What a story. I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I have compassion. Our sister Damilola experiencing firsthand the overwhelming goodness of our God. But as God did it for today, thanks for being a part of it. I am at the Nord there in Ko Ogiga saying, do have a blissful week ahead. Heritage News continues shortly. Please do stay with us.